Damon Hunt here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily edit Photoshop files as PSD files for free online okay so you don't need to download any software you'll be able to do all of this in your browser and to do that we're gonna to go to a site called photop that's p h o t o p e a dot com and of course the first thing we want to do is to open our file and I have some files right here on my desktop that I'm going to use. Let me just open one of them up. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go over some quick basic edits that you know most people want to do if you have Photoshop files that you want to edit and the first thing you probably want to do is to edit the text. Now, Photopea doesn't actually allow you to edit the existing text. Well, I've tried it, it didn't work. But what you can easily do is to just hide the layer or you can delete it completely. But I think it's easier to just hide it. So you can hide the layer and then you, you click on the T here. That's the text tool. And then you click where you want to type your text. And then you can just go ahead and type your text instant download okay for example and there are a couple of things you can do here for example the text is black by default so I'm just go ahead and change this and I'm, I did that by double clicking the box here with the color so it brings up this color picker so we'll just go over to white I want mine to be white and then click OK and of course it will also take your hexadecimal codes so if you know the the exact color that you want you can just paste that code here and we click OK and you will see that the color is changed you can also change the size of the text in terms of pixels and there are a couple of fonts here that you can change and of course the style whether it be bold art italics regular etc okay and then I'm just gonna go and click on the move tool which is the first one here for the arrow and just place this I want it to go so there we have our text and the next thing that you probably want to do is to maybe resize a particular element so for example this button so for example if it was too wide and you wanted to make it less wide and if you keep keep make sure that you keep the cursor on the move tool and then you go to edit and free transform or shortcut is control T like I said make sure that you have it on the move tool okay and then you be easily you can just drag any of the corners and you can see the size is being changed of course there's another element under here I'd have to adjust that as well but I think you get the idea you can resize from the corners and it will change and if you want to resize just a little tip if you want to resize and keep your proportions as, as in the proportion of the height to the width then you can just click shift and it will keep those intact okay and so that's how easy it is to resize and the next thing that you probably want to do is to change the color. So what what you can do is to just double click as you saw me. Hold on. Let's go back here. Okay. All right. Just have to commit the changes there. If you go back here and I'm gonna hide that layer so you can see this layer a little easier and if you double click on the layer right in the box there then you'll be able to apply a couple of styles now as I mentioned if you wanted to change the color then you could just do a simple color overlay and then once you tick the box and you click on the text itself that says color overlay 
then you'll be able to change the setting. So you can change the opacity and the blend mode. But to change the color itself, you click on the box with the color and then you can change this to whatever you want it to be. Okay, so I wanted to use that dark blue. Click OK. Okay, and since I'm in here, let me just show you some of the other options that you'll be able to do. These are a little bit more advanced. So for example, you wanted to add a drop shadow and you may not see that so clearly because the button is a dark color. So let me just make this a little lighter so you can see these effects a little better. Okay, so you can see the drop shadow a little better, the inner shadow, the drop shadow, that's the drop shadow, the inner shadow, you can put an outer glow, an inner glow, you can do a bevel, an emboss, and that's great for creating buttons, realistic looking buttons. You can add a gradient overlay, and what we have to do is to remove the color overlay for that, and then, like I said, to change the settings of any of these, you click on the text, and then you see the option. So we could change the colors of our gradient, by clicking on and then you could change the colors by clicking on the stops here change the color to blue for example click ok click ok and you see the color has changed there and you can change the scale and like i said that's a little more advanced so you can play around with it and you can also play around with the other options satin and the stroke which just puts a nice border around it and of course you can change the setting on those. So that's how easy it is to edit your Photoshop files inside Photopea. And of course the last thing you'd want to do is to save your file once you're satisfied with your edits. And you have a couple of options. You can save as a PSD, which will allow you to keep the layers so that you can come back in and edit them at another time. Or you can save for the web which will allow you to save it as a PNG so that you can keep any transparent backgrounds or a JPEG, which you can save as a transparent background. And these are usually a little lower quality, but the file sizes are smaller, so they load faster. Okay, so you can just choose and there's also the web P option. Okay, so I like PNG because I like to keep my transparent backgrounds. And then you just click save. Let me move this up. Click save, and it will automatically save to your downloads folder, wherever you have your default download folders. So that's how easy it is to use Photopea. Hope you enjoy it. It's a nice, quick tool. If you don't have Photoshop and you found yourself with some Photoshop files and you want to do some quick editing, then this is an easy tool to use. This is Damiel. Thanks for watching.